I ain't never seen the tide this low. I mean, you can even see land all down there. That's crazy. Ain't got the GoPro this morning. Boy, if there was ever a time to try to find that drone, hey now, the lowest tide possible might be it. Dude coming in from the sailboat, he couldn't even get no closer than that. I haven't been out in the kayak in a while. Today would be kind of tough getting out there given how shallow it is. I'm not seeing anything jumping out at me. Somebody had said, Joe, it would be pointless cleaning this thing up because every day there would just be more and more trash that would be washed up here. And you're absolutely right about that. However, it would be a good thing just to be cleaning this up. And also, man, you never know what you would find out here. If you walked all the way out there, ain't no telling what you would see. But I don't feel like doing that and getting all muddy. I gotta get the workout in. It's Sunday morning as I begin this. Geeked up off that alpha, beta, alkaline or whatever it's called. Thought it was nice and you guys are absolutely right. Oh shoot, a fish. Ha. Huh. Alrighty, Sunday morning, 7.44 in the morning as I begin this, and you already know where I'm heading off to. Not sure what I'm going to do for the workout this morning. The Beta Alkaline, if that's what it is, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, has got the tingling going on, the pins and needles feeling, and I don't not like that feeling. I mean, the niacin burning toxins out of your body feeling especially when you take too much of that I don't like but this is very mild in comparison to that feeling the only thing that I don't like about this is way later like in the evening time when I'm trying to go to sleep my skin feels so freaking dry and I'm itchy everywhere everywhere I'm itchy and I don't like that uh, I think that's a side effect of all of this but anywho, so yesterday, uploaded the very first episode of the After Prison Show After Show featuring a very special co-host that a lot of people seem very excited to check out. So if you guys check that out, thanks for doing so. I'm going to do a lot more with that after show. And also got my bathroom finished with the tile today. I'm going to do the grout on that. That way I can start putting that bathroom back together. I still got some floating shelves I got to build around where the tub is going to go. Uh, maybe I get to that today. Maybe I don't. Probably just grout the bathroom and do the floating shelves tomorrow. That's about it. Going to try to deal with the city tomorrow. A lot of people had a lot of things to say in relation to that. And I mean, look, there's you know not a lot to say in my defense. There's rules and I'm in the wrong. I'm not going to go to the city and try to raise hell per se. I am going to try to, you know, fix the situation. Probably too late to try to fix the situation. But I got to believe, you know, they're really not trying to take me to court. At least I would hope not. I just read a, well, I saw a story headline this morning. Damn. All, that, all them people stuff just sent them somebody to a storage auction. And looks like, uh... Is that a paint pole right there? Oh, if it is, I'm coming to take that. Uh. I just saw a story headline this morning about a guy in Florida who didn't cut his grass and got fined like $30,000 and he took it all the way to the federal court and he lost and he's got to pay $30,000 or they're going to take his house over grass is what I'm assuming that story's about. So yeah, kind of a shit situation. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to take my door down. Maybe we can work around it, but you know what? Maybe I do got to take the door down. And if I do, ooh, not going to be happy about that. My only argument in this situation is, hey, look, there's other doors similar to mine. Um, why are you messing with me, though? 
What we got over here? A couple little knickknacks, some leftover shit. Look at those shower doors. Those ain't bad right there. Oh, it's a mop handle. Oh, wait, no. There are some paint poles. Hey, man. I could, I could use these. Some open house stuff. Some joint compound. Some tiles, some cabinets. Somebody was flipping or doing renovations. Yeah, they was. What's up in here? Some motor oil. Fix a flat. A mud pan. I'll just take the paint poles. Yeah, there's other houses with similar doors. So why do I got to be the exception to the rule? But whatever. I'm not going to be an ass about it because, like I said, I'm in the wrong. And I want to try to fix the situation. I really don't want to make the situation worse. You know, I did mention that I was willing to take this thing to court. And I guess if they leave me no other option and just say, hey, look, there is no other option. You're going to court. Then fuck it. I'll go to court and I'll, you know, try to defend myself. And my defense is going to be, <laughs> there's other doors that are similar. So, I think they're making a mountain out of a molehill. All right, so what's on the workout agenda for today? Somebody had mentioned burpees. Joe tried burpees. Man, or Joe tried the burpees. I don't know if I can burpee. But I'll tell you this, a burpee is a full body workout. It most certainly is. And if I could do them, shit. Wouldn't that be something? It certainly would help me with this freaking pins and needle feeling I got going on right now. I'll tell you one thing that I fear every day doing the workout, no matter what it is, is throwing my, throwing my old ass back out. So what I want to do is, I do want to try these burpees. That's what I want to do today. I want to do something a little different. And in an effort to try them, I need to try to get into them. There definitely ain't no way to just jump into them. So I'm trying to do like some slow burpees at first and then really get into some full on burpees. So. <clears throat> Something like that. I'm not sure where that left off at. Hopefully I got my last set of burpees in there. I did nine and that's it. Five sets of everything. Five sets of burpees, stomach, side to side. I'm gonna do one final thing before I get up out of here. I got 10 pounds of weight on these, right? And one thing I like to do, is this. I'm just swinging. Don't get in my way. Not sure if that does anything or not, but I feel it all in my stomach. A lot of 
a lot of core there. I hate getting in this thing soaked, sweating, stinking. I know I got this truck needing a major freaking detail. Anyways, workout's done. Five sets of burpees, five sets of crunches, five sets of side to sides. And now I'm gonna get ready to go try to do my two and a half miles. So, one thing I wanna mention, not really trying to toot my own horn, but I, I, I am. You know, talk about Joe doing stuff. I wanna share yesterday with you guys. Yesterday I would end up filming the ending of the video for Joe Does Stuff, which was just me doing the tile. I would end up doing tile. I would end up editing start to finish the new after show for after prison show uh, the video for joe does stuff and do my workout and do my run yesterday quite a lot of shit that i got done yesterday and today well i'm trying to make it just as productive haven't mentioned anything in relation to insurance or the painting and cleaning business in the last couple of days and there's just nothing to report um, it's kind of the same old song and dance right this second still trying to get the approval For my general liability insurance, which I had to Which I had to jack that up to the two million. That was one thing, but then I had to get a non I don't know some Some sort some crazy type of verbiage. They wanted non complicit. Uh, I don't even know how you put it um, I had to add that and that is seeming to be more of a hassle than trying to lift the policy trying to double the policy so that still hasn't come back yet. They said if it's not back Friday afternoon, which it wasn't, then Monday call and they'll get it expedited. Oh, that word. But anyways, I want to hurry up and get all of that submitted so that I can be like approved completely through this piece of shit scam insurance verification company. Uh, that way I can go to other properties. So next week I'll definitely focus on trying to get more properties, trying to get more work, getting the city squared away getting the beach cleaned up, getting my house go, uh, going, getting that bathroom finished. That way I can get on Liam's bedroom. I gotta paint that first and foremost. We've got a Amazon wish list of things. I'm actually gonna put that out beginning today in this video. Uh, me and my wife have bought so many things for my son and if anybody wants to contribute to the livelihood of my son and things that we need for him, I would be unbelievably grateful uh, I believe most of the things on the list are not even expensive things at all so if you guys would like to buy something for my son who's gonna be here in December like I said I would be more than grateful so that link will be down below and it would just make my wife's day to see somebody purchase something for little Liam anyways hope that doesn't come across as me begging and also, let me reiterate, if you can't do it, please don't feel obligated to do it at all. Even if nobody bought anything, you know, it would be totally okay. All right, I'm going to go get this run in, and then we got a lot more to do for this day. Got to get that grout done today. <clears throat> I never seen this before. Correctional facility, healthcare, hospitality, hospitality supply. They make clothes in there. They probably make they probably make prison jumpsuits in there. Pretty crazy. All right, I gotta be about a mile and a half into this thing, taking a different route. I don't even know where the hell I'm at. Whew. I definitely went, I went the wrong way for sure. I'm looking for a street that cuts over that way. I guess it's got to be up there that cuts over that way. I'm going to be going all over the city today. Might end up being a little bit more than two and a half miles. 
Not by choice. <laughs> Shit. Where the hell am I? Definitely trapped back here in this industrial park. All right. Let me run and try to figure out where the hell I'm going without having to cut through businesses and looking like I'm out here looking for fucking copper. Found myself. There's the big ass horse right there. Remember, I used to come fly the drone right here. And looks like that's done. You know, tell me what they're putting here. Putting something though. No idea how far into this I am. All I know is I'm hoping two and a half miles is under 28 minutes. It probably won't be today. Dealing with a little gingerness in my shin. So uh, that sucks, but that's a pain I can run right over top of. And I'm gonna keep doing that. Hi. Right. I should be almost done with this damn thing. So I'll get with you after two and a half and let you know the let you know the damage. 2.51 miles, 27 minutes, 48 seconds. Yesterday I ran 2.53 miles and 27 minutes and 44 seconds. Four seconds slower today. Now I had to book to catch up on that last little half a mile. I was 2.32 and I was at about 26 minutes. I knew I needed to try to get that under 28. So I'm gonna say today was pretty similar to, to yesterday. It was under 28 minutes and good damn run. Super soaked and feel like I got it in this morning. Burpees, two and a half miles, good shit. All right, uh, probably after 11 o'clock in the morning and you see what we're doing. So, go hurry up and get this bathroom grouted out and then move on to some other stuff. Got Damon with me today. Oh shit. What's that tile looking like? Looks good. Yeah. Yeah, pretty happy with the way it came out. Got perfect grout and we're going with the black grout in here. I've already started wiping a little bit of it. But obviously when you use that dark grout, it's a lot of wiping. People had mentioned using the cheese cloth method like a cake icing dispenser type of a deal. I ain't found one of those yet, but I know that probably would be a handy tool to use to keep the mess at a minimum when doing the grout. But I don't mind the mess. I don't mind the mess at all. So I mixed up a whole bag of grout here. Um, didn't want to have to go mix up more grout. Would rather waste a bunch of grout than have to mix up more because if you mix up more, for whatever reason, you could have a different, different shade of the color. And with this being black, you know, I want this all to look the same, very uniformed. But it's also a lot of grouting that needs to be done. So I'm sure we're gonna go through quite a bit of that grout. I'm kind of just working my way out of here. After I get this little corner over here, I'll go back and wipe and just keep it moving. Keep it moving. My first wipe back there actually came out pretty good. So don't look like it'll be a thousand wipes on this. Really try to pound that grout into those grout lines. You want to make sure you bury that. Uh, the grout also, and I don't know this, any scientific uh, backing behind this, but I can only imagine the grout also helps to strengthen, helps to strengthen your tile. So it ain't gonna be long before we're moving that big ass vanity up them stairs. You ready to move that vanity? <laughs> Yeah, somewhat. I've been dreading the data. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it's gonna be a bitch. 
gonna have to have, we're gonna have to have Dave over here for that. He offered to help the other day when we filmed that podcast. I said, Dave, you don't, hey, you don't want no parts of that. That thing ain't no joke. Damon and Sean what we got going on so we've wiped this down quite a bit this could be the final wipe down might be hope it is cuz this is keeping my ass all right so while we've been messing with this and waiting on this to set up a little bit and clean it up around the house uh, I got an email from the property that wants us to do painting and remember I sent that email saying hey what's your negotiation room well Sunday is what it is right now she hits me back with an email and she says that she's got a quote right now for 300 for a one bedroom 350 for a two bedroom 450 for a three bedroom which is more than 315 for the one, two, and the three. So let me ask you this, how do they go up from $50 from one bedroom to a two bedroom, but $100 from a two bedroom to a three bedroom? She's just, uh, she's just telling me these are what her quotes are. Now, you see what I'm saying though? No, you're right. I mean, her, maybe she does have that quote. I know she was meeting with other painters on the same day that I went and brought the bagels. Uh, so maybe that was another low ball quote that she got. But here's the, the kicker. Even though that's more than 315 for the one, two, and the three all being the same price, you know, what if I would have signed on to that? Can you imagine? Okay, yeah, I'll do it for that. So this one, like I said, 300 for a one bedroom, uh, 350 for a two bedroom, 450 for a three bedroom. Color change. An additional 350 on top of those prices. No matter one, two, or three, an additional 350. So a three bedroom color change would be 750. Uh, if it's trim only that needs a color change, not walls, that's an additional 165 on top of the price. I hate to say this. But I'm probably going to sign on to that. Now, uh, she's also asking when can we start. So she definitely wants us to do this. Uh, it's been you know, brought to my attention from talking to my wife about it. My wife says, well, if she's got that quote, why don't she just go with them? Maybe she is. Or maybe that quote can't get approval through the third party verification thing that I've got. I, I, I wanna believe that that approval and that third party shit has gotta be pretty important, pretty valuable is what I mean. Like, because we're approved, maybe they're not, maybe they don't have all the insurances. I don't know. I'm leaning more toward, you know, those prices make a little more sense. I'm not committing 100% just yet because, you know, I gotta crunch these numbers and see where all that lands at. A one bedroom, two guys in a one bedroom, five hours is what I'm assuming it's gonna take. Could take more, of course it could take more. Um, at $20 an hour per guy, which that might not be the case. Damn, can you move that bucket so I can shut this door a little bit? You know, David's definitely getting 20 bucks an hour. Which is a decent little bump from what he's making right now. And, of course, I want to make Damon like a freaking foreman out there. I want him to be with a guy and me to be with a guy. The only way I would make money doing this is me to be with a guy, Damon to be with a guy. 
The units that Damon and the guy paint, I ain't gonna make shit off of that. Not with one bedroom at least. So, I didn't think we were gonna hear back from this lady. I'm glad that we have. Uh, I want to mention this also. I told my wife this, you know, and I've mentioned this talking about this numerous times. I said, look, not all work is good work. Well, you know, here we are trying to get this work. Sometimes it could go, the first person that reaches out to you could be the worst person to deal with, the worst company to deal with. Because if they need, you know, your service, why do they need it? Because they can't keep somebody or because they're not willing to pay. Or because they're, they're a nightmare to deal with. Or because they want you to go in there and do all the work and then they want to take forever to get you paid. Um, a lot of variables could go into this. Do you know what the, because uh, I know a lot, like a lot of places, they don't pay for like 30 days. Yeah, I mean, that's the norm is 30 days. You bill, and within about 30 days, they cut you a check and they mail it to you. There ain't no direct deposit. Like, this just fucking old school as hell in terms of getting you paid. You gotta work today, and get paid next month. Which is fine, I mean, it was like that with the cleaning business as well. And eventually, the checks start to catch up. But, that's a major update, major development with the, the business, that on a Sunday, literally like right at 12, the message, the email came in with a little bit of a better deal, not much, but in comparison to $300 for a one, two, or a three, well, at least, at least we got a little more, a little more. You guys let me know what you think about that. Joe, don't do it. I know it's gonna be probably what some people are gonna say. Damon, what do you think? Uh, I don't know, man. It's it's a, it's a little uh, nerve-wracking getting into. Like I said, I think once we get a system, I think it'll work. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna be under the gun. We are gonna be under the gun at first. We could go in there and paint this unit and get fired. What in the world? How is that? What the f what is it? It's a stain. Ain't budget. Becky. Damn, man. We have to figure that out. Right over here really doesn't matter too much because the vanity is going to be right there. So the gravel looks pretty damn good. Satisfied with the way this came out. Alright. Alright, Dan, let's start working our way out of here. Alright, going out. Uh, damn, that's a decent little stain right there. Like, where the fuck did that come from? It looked like a sweat drop. One thing about this dark route, it looks great. It really does look great, but it is unforgiving. Any scratches, blemishes in the tile, <laughs> that dark ground's going right inside there, and it will never come out. God, it look good, don't it? Yeah, it do. All right, carry on and get with you in a little while. All right, hey, long time since we've been able to say leaving from Lowe's. Yeah, buddy. Man, we just spent a thousand dollars in there. We got the Graco X7 with the stand. 
They got the X9, which is a little bit more money. Comes with um, a 50 foot hose versus the 25 that comes with the X7. And the only thing that was good about the X7 was it came with a, you know, a, a cart. So you can hook up that five gallons of paint and not have to be lugging that shit around. We got everything that we need to get started. You think, Damon? Yeah, that's a damn good start. You know, so I guess sharing that, I'm going to tell you that I'm probably going to go respond to that. I mean, I'm definitely going to go respond to that email and say, hey, look, we can start. We can start next week. We can start Tuesday. So it's going to be a tough, tight week. Tuesday, we're going to go probably do a trial run with them. And then Wednesday, we got landscape. So whatever we got going on on Tuesday, we need to make sure that we got it done or damn near done. Or we get a late start on landscape on Wednesday. Uh, or we got to put it off till Thursday. Maybe they don't want us to start on Tuesday. We'll just have to wait and see. But the fact of the matter is we, we're ready. We're ready to get into this. Uh, the paint spray machine, I feel like, is so freaking important. We have got to be spraying and becoming extremely proficient with spraying if we want to try to make any money doing this. Probably going to need another paint spray machine. How long is it going to take me to recoup all that I've got tied up in insurance and all that I've got tied up in, you know, business equipment thus far? It's probably going to take me a couple of months to get that, but... Man, it's my hope to have this thing jumping. And with what we just went and got at Lowe's today, I think we're I think we're gonna be off to a pretty damn good start. So that's getting ready to be it. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna wipe my towel one last time. Shout out to Damon for coming over and helping me out today. Damon, you ready to get into this painting work? Sure, I'm ready. Well, it's gonna be me and you. And maybe the 50 year old skater dude and hopefully even more that's it folks you guys let me know what you think uh, about everything from today and i'll look forward to sharing more with you tomorrow until then take care